In this tutorial, we will learn how to shoot directly to Capture One Mobile. Images are saved to your iPad or iPhone and simultaneously to a memory card if your camera supports it. Having a memory card in your camera enables retether, which we also cover in this tutorial. Before capturing the first image, it makes good sense to create a capture album to easily locate the captures. If you do not create an album, then all images will go to the All Captures album. To create a capture album, tap plus and name your album. Tap on the three dots adjacent to the album and assign it as the capture album. To stay organized, you can also change the naming of the files as they come in. The camera can be triggered from the capture button or from the camera itself. Camera controls can be accessed from the first tool tab here. To manage where your captures are stored, either in Capture One, the camera's memory card or both, tap here. Saving images to more than one location ensures that you have a backup of your images at all times. Now you're ready to shoot tethered. To apply any adjustments you've made to subsequent captures, enable Next Capture Adjustments. Any current adjustments will be automatically applied to subsequent captures. If you want to enjoy the benefits of tethering without the need to be connected to Capture One, consider using Retether. Retether operates when disconnecting your USB cable from Capture One with a memory card inserted in the camera. You can then continue to shoot images to the card for up to two hours. Upon reconnection to Capture One, images taken since the disconnection will be automatically imported and displayed in the viewer. Next Capture adjustments and Next Capture naming will be applied, just as it would during normal tethering. Retether operates by default. The only thing you need to do is keep a card in the camera.